Stepancic, the only real recognised left-handed right back. Oh, lovely pass to the line. First goal, Croatia. He's trying to control the defence behind him. Bjornsson goes in as an extra line player. Reinkind, they've started with O'Sullivan in the centre and he scores. Look for the interception, just missed the connection. Sindric, long range shot, right up in the corner. Sagerson. He's blowing the whistle. It's so loud in the arena, they can barely hear it. But uh, in fact, it's not even then. Oh! Caught the goalkeeper napping. It's the scorer, but you'll see him get a hefty shove in the back there from Uvebu, who's only Dunyak. Looks for the line, super supply! Brilliant, right through the legs of the defender. Interesting that Stepancic, who's just been uh, blocked there by Sagerson, they were teammates last year at PSG in Paris. Stepancic. And Norway hit back. Still not able to look too relaxed. Block on the line was holding three people back, but he, Croatia, came in on 60%. So they're actually doing a little bit better than normal, and that's going to help make it even better. Maric, his fourth goal. There was the pass into the line earlier for Maric's fourth goal of the game. What a lovely assist by Karacic for the Barcelona playmaker. And a quick response. And that's Johannesson. So, seconds tick, five seconds to go, Karacic, yes! Who else but Karacic to find Maric on the line? Fifth goal of the game. Norway in this half, as we see that last goal that's given them the two-goal lead. And they've actually... ...who offer a bit of pace and have been great at finding the line as well. And that started rather well. Hansen's got a good shot on him, but this defence is causing problems. They like to cross and they like to come across each other and open up the defences. But uh, with Dunyak at the front, it's a lot more difficult. In the defence, they move up so quickly. They try and get those short run-ins, taking the front defender, move across the court. But they're not giving very much at all, the Croatians, in that respect. That's gone through, though. Hard work, but got there in the end. Little windmill feint. Goes past Mandic, should have... Horvat again, I'm trying to draw the defence forwards and it works in the end. No way through, Sagerson gives the ball away, three of them are streaming forwards. Oh, brilliant save by Bergerud and Karacic. That was a golden opportunity to really press home the advantage. And I dare say, defending... Zeliko Musa. Musa. In fact, that was the fastest shot of the game. We just saw Dunyak scoring at 128 kilometers an hour, but uh, Norway hit back. Croatians are saying, oh, he bundled him over. Just bounced awkwardly. They work patiently. Karacic. Yes, Horvat. Lovely supply than he did because there was a defensive hand sneaking out there. Horvat goes through goal number three. And still Norway have to do the chasing. Ball is stolen. Oh, short-handed or not. Bergerud saves. Spares their blushes. Tenth save of the game. Sagerson into the line. Gullerud. For Croatia, but Karacic denied. Sagerson into the wing this time. Yondal! Yes! Sneaks it in on the near post. It's all square again. Lidlševa can get quite worked up. There was the equaliser by Yondal. Comes to the line. Nothing through there. Around comes Stepancic. Passive plays now been called, and that'll help. It's such a short spell that the goals just put extra pressure on the team.
Made some great saves in this game today, but has struggled with some of the long-range shooting. Sagerson! Well, Dunya cornered him, prevented him making the pass, and in the end, Sagerson almost had no option. He scored five from seven, scored five in the first half. Oh, yes! They know how dangerous he is. He's got a huge shot on him, Stepancic. He's chosen a good moment to do it. Ah, oh, quick response, Sagerson. Not been a high scoring game. Oh, an attacking foul. It may have been against Maric. Oh, he's managed to take the ball, Bjornsson. And the captain scores his first goal of the game. Eighth turnover. And that ball's so close to... Scored one already. This for another period of extra time. He's got it. Some fans are in heaven. Tried really not to commit, but in the end he did. He moves his leg up, and the moment he does it, Dunyak shoots underneath. You could almost see him trying to hold off and make Dunyak shoot first. They had their chance, Norway. Into the wing, closed angle, it's gone in. Yonda, third goal of the game. In fact, second, I'm getting ahead of myself. It wasn't a big angle, but he cut towards the middle too. And off into the line. That's going to be given, would have been a penalty anyway. There was defending inside the area. Passive play's been called against them. I think they've used a couple of passes. Kemper! Oh, save Bergerud! Number 14! He is livid because that was a good chance. That was superb. Johannesson, good save by Schegel. 15 seconds for Croatia to take it there. That was too early, didn't need to shoot. Into the line! Croatia scored! Seconds to go, long range shot, and that's it. At the death, Musa, defence specialist, club teammate of O'Sullivan, has given the victory they so, so wanted. With three seconds to go, the final score here in Stockholm, Norway 28, Croatia 29, after double extra time. But, but then there was Musa turns and drops it underneath Bergerud. Both teams had their chances, but they defended so well and the Norwegians had no answers with their attack at the end.